everyone, this is Everything Horror. We love to talk about everything horror. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Arizona's haunted attractions. Um, I'm mostly looking into uh, the attractions that are in the Phoenix metropolitan area, uh, possibly a couple from uh, the Tucson area. And I want you guys to know, make sure to stay till the end of this video well, for all the haunted attractions that I'm going to be talking about. So. I don't want you guys to miss out on any that you are super excited for. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. What I first want to start off with is the Crypt. Now the Crypt haunted attractions have been around for a very long time. Uh, they're one of the first haunted attractions and one of the longest running. And unfortunately, I just visited their website and it says that they're not gonna be opening for this season due to some permits, I guess, in regards to um, where they wanted to establish. Thank you for visiting our haunts in 2021. Look forward to new scares in 2022. Wait, are they coming back for this year? Huh. Okay, the calendar is set up for 2018. Hmm. So there may be a possibility that the crypt actually does come this year. I have visited this website earlier and I didn't even notice. I just looked at the first page that was here and I didn't even notice that it says right here thank you for visiting our haunts in 2021 all right we're definitely going to have to message them for sure <laughs> and then next up uh, we don't have anything in regards to field of screams what field of screams was is a corn maze I've never been before but I've heard it's pretty good all right and then another haunt in the Phoenix area we have Scarizona scaregrounds um, I if you look at one of my old reviews of Scarizona Scaregrounds, I really do not like their haunted attractions, and um, let's just leave it at that. I'm probably never going to visit there again. I just did not like the few times that I've been there. But there's no new updates in regards to uh, haunted attractions for this year, so uh, if you are a Scarizona Scaregrounds fan, just stay tuned to their website if anything updates from there. Now another haunted attraction in the Phoenix area is Sanctum of Horror that's in Mesa, Arizona. Uh, they are truly one of the best haunts in the business. I really enjoy going to their attraction every year. Um, I feel like each year it gets better and better. The new facade that they have for the Sanctum of Horror is massive. Um, it looks amazing, a lot of great detail. This is one of those haunts where you could tell that they put a lot of work and effort into it it's a lot of love and care and um, they are actually going to be opening for the 2021 season I actually ran into them at the mad monster convention earlier this year and I spoke with the owner for a bit he seemed very excited to get back into the game because last year they were closed down due to COVID so um, this year it seemed like he was very excited um, and from what he's told me, I'm very excited as well. I've already bought a ticket to it, and I'm looking at their website right now. It says, Sanctum of Horror 2021 announcement. Open for the 2021 season. Welcome to the Sanctum. Sanctum of Horror is a place of fear, a breeding ground of evil. Those who enter this abyss succumb to madness, and now the Sanctum has found its way into the mind of a little girl. So if you don't know what Sanctum of Horror is, practically it's about this uh, young girl named Lenore. You're going into her haunted mind. Uh, she has some crazy thoughts in her head. Um, the main themes in this haunted attraction is an asylum, um, a backwoods type of feel, and also like a coven type of feel. So uh, a lot of uh, demonic possession type of stuff. So really cool. And then they also have another attraction there, which is the Breach. Uh, what the breach is is pretty much like a alien type of haunt um, what the story is about is uh, back in 1953 uh, in Ar in the Arizona desert there was a facility by the name of bunker 16 and they ran experiments on this type of leech that they found and it's created some type of virus and everyone uh, at the facility was consumed with it and people started mutating your traditional type of mutation alien type of stuff so 
uh, really cool. I really like that haunt. It, at first, didn't start off that strong, but as the years have gone on, they've really made it into a intense and uh, very detail-oriented haunt. So it looks like their tickets are going to start off uh, with $24, and that's uh, with going to both the haunted attractions. For Friday the 13th, they had did an event where they were selling the tickets for only $13. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's already passed. So um, if you're in the Arizona area and you, weren't in, uh, and you weren't able to take advantage of that, I'm sorry I'm bringing you this news so late. But hey, they're selling that for $24 right now. And it uh, looks like they open Friday, September 24th, 2021. So it's getting closer and closer. I'm super excited. I can't wait to go. I'm probably going to go opening night. So um, very, very excited. Next up, if you're in the Tucson area, there is Nightfall at Old Tucson. Um, no news yet if they're going to be opening this year. So stay tuned for that if you are a uh, in the Tucson area. Um, no updates yet. So stay tuned for that. And then also in Tucson, there is the Slaughterhouse. Uh, this is one of the haunted houses that their main claim to fame is that they're a haunted house that's actually haunted. If you watch Ghost Adventures, they have actually visited this haunted attraction uh, because, you know, it's apparently haunted. And um, I've never seen that episode, but uh, pretty interesting that um, that's the main claim to fame for this haunted attraction. But from what I've heard, this is actually a pretty cool haunted attraction. So uh, I would definitely love to visit, hopefully, uh, my wallet doesn't hurt that much <laughs> this year for the haunt season um, But hey, I guess we'll see if nightfall does open this year. I definitely want to visit it. So um, Hey, if this is on the way, maybe I'll definitely check it out. Maybe I definitely that doesn't make any sense <laughs> All right, and then there's the 13th floor Phoenix if you look right now on my page It says $15.99 pre-sale uh, sign up now and receive access August 19th. Oh, yeah, that's past that. <laughs> I don't know. If you act now, maybe you'll be able to get $15.99 tickets. I, for one, have already gotten my tickets, $13.99, for both the 13th floor and Fear Farm. Uh, they're both owned by 13th Floor Entertainment Group. Um, they put out great stuff every year. Uh, it looks like the 13th floor has already put out a teaser, so let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, that was just a teaser for the pre-sale, but let's see they've already put out attractions. Alright, the last time I had visited here, they hadn't put this out. So this is really cool. Okay, so this is Bad Blood. And it looks like it's going for like a retro vampire type of look here. Let's read. The ancient feud between vampires and werewolves rages within the shadows of today's city streets. For years, humans have been held secret from the battling creatures, but not anymore. A recent uprising has turned the city into a living nightmare of snarling fangs, spilled blood, and absolute chaos. A ruthless pack of werewolves on wheels known as the Lycan MC Clash with a savage mob of skate punk vampires. The Coffin Crew. Anyone caught between the warring factions are subject to the carnage that awaits. Alright, so seems uh, interesting. It looks like it's going to take over that Zombieland area. Uh, if you don't know, the Zombieland area is like a city run down. So I can definitely see this taking place there. Looks like there's a video, so let's take a look. Well, that looked interesting. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> pretty cheesy, but hey, we'll see. 
And then we got the doll maker. So I imagine this is what's going to take over the area where it's the traditional 13th floor maze where they have like the haunted mansion and all that. Um, but that's the only thing with 13th floor. They don't really change much. Um, I feel like uh, I hardly see any new sets or anything like maybe it's a thing of it ain't broke don't fix it but I don't know um, you know I'm I'm one of the, those people that no matter what I'm gonna go because <laughs> I just love going to haunted attractions I love the haunt season it gets me excited every year and it's a tradition to go to all these haunts so no matter what I'm gonna go but you know maybe if I was just a casual haunt goer uh, be like what's the point you know going each year uh, seeing the same exact thing so that's the only thing with with uh, the 13th floor but let's take a look and see the doll maker the scary house at the end of the street sits abandoned with the passing of its owner the doll maker though the house sits quiet and still his collection of Victorian dolls still fills every inch of every room before the old man lady past he placed every doll. why was that funny <laughs> I don't understand. uh past he placed every doll exactly where he wanted then to reside and any disruption will be dealt with as the spirit of the doll maker inhabits the porcelain and defends his life's work even in death okay dolls kind of creep me out okay especially porcelain and anything in regards to like a mannequin things of that nature um, kind of creep me out so if they do have like a, at least a room dedicated to something like that I would definitely enjoy it um, Sanctum of Horror has a room like that that I absolutely love so uh, I don't know if they're gonna have it this year but uh, I don't know seems very interesting I hope there is actual change oh apparently more attractions coming soon Huh. Well, that would be neat. So, Fear Farm is coming back. They moved locations. They're going to be near the uh, where the Cardinals play over there in Glendale. So, I'm very excited to see what they have in store. This is the teaser that they have here, but I feel like I feel like 13th uh, Floor Entertainment, they put out trailers for multiple haunted houses that are the same. And from what I remember, I think this is the same trailer for the Haunted Hayride. That's for the pre-sale. Okay, so Dead End Slaughterhouse. These are the attractions that they're gonna have. Let's see what it says here. Echoes from the golden age of river boats float within the waterlogged woodwork of the once glorious vessel. This isn't for Dead End Slaughterhouse. Uh, th th this looks like it's for that. Okay. My bad. So is this for Slaughterhouse? An old 70s rest stop at the edge of town, untouched by time, has been used as a weary traveler tourist trap. Literally. A series of establishments all work to trap and abduct patrons to be used as human meat in the local diner. Driven by the thirst for blood, the manacle townsfolk have become more brazen and aggressive towards the travelers in this high intensity cat and mount style attraction. All right, um, seems interesting. It says new for 2020. So this is for Dead in the Water. Echoes from the golden age of river boats float within the waterlogged woodwork of the once glorious vessel. The incensed spirits of dangerous gamblers and high society aristocrats haunt the sunken steamboat. There are unearthly powers summon creatures lurking within the muddy depths of the clouded river. Journey into the sinking ruins and discover the horrifying truth behind legends of the deep. So that's very interesting. I'm very excited for that. Uh, is it just going to be two haunted houses? Wow, that would be a huge change. Fear Farm has always had 
five or six attractions. Now I can understand because they moved to a new location. They're possibly starting from the ground up. There is actually an article that I want to take a look at with you guys in just a second, but let's take a look at these trailers here. So this is for Dead in the Water. Alright, pretty interesting. That'd be really cool to get a water themed haunted attraction in Arizona. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've never heard of uh, such an opposite <laughs> of what you would see in, a, in an Arizona haunted attraction, but really cool. So here's that in Slaughterhouse. Alright, pretty cool. A nice little slash at the end. You got us. But yeah, you guys, uh, seems very interesting. Let me take, uh, let me go ahead and pull up that article here. That way you guys can see it for yourselves. Alright, so the, I have the article pulled up here. Fear Farm Haunted Attraction has moved to Glendale. And here's why. And this is by Benjamin Leatherman from the New Times. So, uh, when. I have read the article from what I remember and it seems like they had uh, something with the owner and the owner um, just decided to sell the property so uh, that's why they had to move to this new location but supposedly this location is larger than the last location the other location was 32 acres and this one is 40 acres so definitely an upgrade for Fear Farm and then let's go ahead and see where they talk about the attractions. So it says right here that they're going to have four themed haunts. Now before, from what I remember, they used to have around five or six. I remember not last year, but the year before. They had had uh, the bunker, they had slaughterhouse, they had um, the plague, they had um, La, Llor La Llorona, they had um, they had a clown attraction so that was pretty much five haunts there and then plus they had the uh, a corn maze so this year they're going to have dead and slaughter they're going to have nuketown which i imagine is going to be fallout and uh they have dead in the water so we know about that one and then they're going to have sinister circus so those are going to be the themes for this year you guys um, if you are excited for Fear Farm or any of these haunted attractions, let me know. Um, I've already bought my tickets for Fear Farm and 13th Floor. So I've got that set and for the Sanctum of Horn. So be on the lookout for videos in regards to those later on in haunt season. I am super excited, you guys. This is this is the time that I live for. Okay, this is this is the best time of the year for me. So I am super excited. I can't wait to get haunt season started. Uh, let me know which which haunt, haunted attraction are you the most excited for. Make sure to comment down below. And I greatly appreciate it if you gave this video a like and make sure to subscribe. This is Everything Horror where we love to talk about everything horror. Take care peeps.